Hey sketchy friends, so this is my second video about Domestica and in this one I'm going to focus a bit more on uh, courses that are just to do with sketching or illustration in general rather than the urban sketching specific classes that I mentioned in the first video. So if you haven't seen that first video and you'd like to find out a bit more about some of the classes I recommend uh, about urban sketching on the Domestica platform then please do go check it out. I'll link it in the corner above. So as mentioned in my previous video about my favourite urban sketching classes on Domestica, the class that really got me hooked into how amazing Domestica is as a platform is the class Watercolour Portrait Sketchbook by Carlos Rodriguez Casado. I learned so much from this class and if casual watercolour portraits in your sketchbook sound like your kind of thing, then this class is definitely for you. It's a great pace, it's not overcomplicated, uh, it didn't scare me off at all, I felt it was like the first portrait class that actually got me thinking, ah, okay, I get it. And I also like that it's not like a formal portraiture class, as mentioned, it's more approachable than that. So if this is something you want to learn, I really can't recommend this class enough. It is in Spanish, but there are English subtitles as well as other languages available. So the next class I would like to mention is Daily Sketching for Creative Inspiration by Sori Kim. And this one is in English. Um, and this is just such an inspirational course. One of the things I love most about every Domestica course is the influences video and I love that every introductory module of every single course follows the same sort of structure so you always know what you're going to get you, can, you know you're going to learn a bit about the teacher then you're going to hear about their influences and then you get to see some of their own work and in some ways this is actually probably my favorite <laughs> favorite module or unit of each course it's just so fascinating I just love to hear how people came to do what they do and their influences along the way. So Sori teaches a little of everything in this course, so she covers drawing in pencil and then in ink. She also explores the concepts of expressing light and shadow, uh, she teaches a bit of perspective and then she does move on to getting a little more experimental as well with watercolour and gouache. It's interesting as one of the exercises she shows is kind of similar to something in Felix Scheinberger's course as well. Um, although of course they approach it in a completely different way, but the concept's the same. So it's the idea of making random watercolour shapes across your sketchbook page. And then once these shapes are dry, going in with ink to turn the abstract shapes into something else. So in Felix Felix's class, he turns them into some of his funny bird characters or people's faces or that kind of thing and in Sori's case she favours a bit more of an abstract approach um, but she kind of seems to render like random gelatinous organisms <laughs> which uh, they still look cool though and I'm a real fan of these kinds of creative and experimental exercises they really free you up and just get you to get that pen or the brush on the page. The next course I would like to mention is Exploratory Sketchbook Find Your Drawing Style by Sarah Van Dongen. Sarah is a illustrator from um, the Netherlands and um, the course she delivers the course in English though. And the sense of freedom I feel by just watching Sarah's course, just watching her disregard of perspective and any kind of realism, and she just replaces it with whimsy and fun. And it's just such a great course if you're just looking for a bit of permission, you know, to draw without any rules, um, yet explore different mixed media, that kind of thing. So she uses gouache um, and pencils and crayons. So Sarah's just a very calming yet no-nonsense presence on the screen and I really like her teaching style, it's kind of like no more no less. Um, but I really do love her eclectic approach to using mixed mediums. And I'm finding myself now really actually wanting to go out and buy some Caran d'Ache uh, Neo Colour crayons, which I didn't think would be something I'd be interested in, but after watching her course I'm like, hmm, okay, yeah, that could be fun. So I also really like her tip to never buy pencils or crayons in a set as you won't really use all of the colours. So it's better just to buy a few different colours that you like. 
And I think this is a good approach, especially if you do have access to a physical art store. I feel like it maybe is a bit tricky selecting specific colors while online shopping. Maybe that's just me, I don't know. But I like to see them physically if I can. And the next quartz I want to mention, which is one I've only just got myself, but I'm absolutely loving it so much, I just had to mention it in this video. It's called Illustrating Nature, A Creative Exploration, and it's by British illustrator Laura McKendry. So obviously the audio is in English here, but there's subtitles for other languages. And yeah, as I said, I literally got this course a few days ago, but it's already a firm favourite. And I really relate to Laura's story of kind of putting creative pursuits to the, to the side and, you know, studying more practical subjects and setting yourself up for like more of a well-paid career or steady job, that kind of thing, which as I'm sure we all know by now is just a bit of false security anyway. Do you guys know that I have a law degree? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I did actually want to study contemporary music, but then later into my 20s, I did eventually find drawing and then urban sketching and then traveling. So I was kind of at least lucky to end up working in the travel industry uh, most recently. But uh, anyway, that's another story. So I learned so much by simply just watching the video about Laura's influences. So as I mentioned earlier, these are one of my favorite videos of every course. And just seeing her leaf through some of her favorite illustrated books and explaining the styles and the mark making. It was just so fascinating. I felt like I learned so much just watching that one five minute video. So this course is all about experimentation and so it absolutely sings to my soul. It just makes me wonder, is this what it would have been like if I went to study art or illustration, like an art school or something like that? You know, just getting this encouragement to play and experiment and just the sense of freedom to explore without any pressure of real life or earning money or wasting time or any of that kind of thing. So I really recommend uh, checking out these courses, guys. The links to these specific ones are in the description. I encourage you to go and watch the trailers for each of them, which is what I've kind of been showing in this video as well and just see what you think. I can promise you though, my wish list of courses I want to do is so long and it's not all illustration either. There are some on video editing, marketing, writing, they all just look so, so good. And I actually just need to conjure up some more hours in the day so I can watch them all. <laughs> but I'm extremely impressed with the quality of instructors, the quality of content and the quality of the production of these courses. Domestica have built an incredible library of classes over a wide range of subject areas and if there's something you want to learn in one of the categories that Domestica covers then I cannot recommend this platform enough. Please please forget the any kind of language barrier which I know is something that some people bring up with Domestica all the time because it's just not an issue anymore. Yeah, can't recommend Domestica enough. Do go check them out. I hope this video has inspired you. Go browse their catalogue and have fun. Oh, and it's Black Friday sale right now if you're watching this video when it's released. I think they've got some mega deals on over there. So yeah, just go and check it out. And I will see you in the next video.